with um, why you should get Windows 8. And um, simply because it's, it's, my first reason is because it's faster. It's definitely much faster than Windows 7 or any other Windows operating system. It um, starts up quicker. Pretty much all your applications run better. It uses a lot less RAM, so that puts a lot less stress on your computer. And uh, my next reason is that it just simply looks modern. This is unlike, you know, any Windows operating system that has ever come out. And um, my next reason is that there's a lot of customization. And um, here on the Metro screen, your start screen here, you have, um, you know, you could go to your uh, change PC settings and um, you could change your lock screen picture, you could change your start screen, screen um, backgrounds. Now, I'm using the beta, you know, preview of Windows 8 right now, but um, I, 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 I'm going to be getting the full version soon. And in the full version, there's a lot more options and um, there's a lot of color options that you can choose from as well. Uh, but, I mean, that's just there. On the desktop, you have tons of customization here. You could change um, pretty much the color of anything. And you could change your pictures. And you can't, you, not only, you can't only just choose one. You can make it go through a slideshow and have many pictures, which is very great. And, um, you know, another great thing about Windows 8 is that it syncs all your information into the cloud, uh, ensuring that you get the same experience across all devices. And basically what that means is um, if you sign in to your tablet, you, let's say you have a Windows 8 in your computer, you, you know, make a desktop background and all that stuff, and you've been using it for a while, you get a brand new tablet, you sign in, all that information will be automatically transferred to your tablet. You'll have your background, your browser history, and all that stuff already in your tablet because it'll sync it through the cloud. Another great reason is, you know, aside from, you know, the whole new Metro experience, um, Microsoft did not neglect the desktop. They've made many improvements to the desktop, such as the brand new Windows Explorer and the new Task Manager. And another one would be um, simply Internet Explorer 10. Internet Explorer 10 is um, unlike any Internet Explorer that um, has ever come out. And um, even people that don't like Internet Explorer, you guys should really try it out. It's it's not like 9 at all. It's It's just incredible. It's an incredible experience. It's a very good browser. And, you know, the eighth reason is because uh, of compatibility. For those of you who are using XP or uh, maybe even Vista still, um, you know, you don't really have to be worried about your software not working on Windows 8. Because, I mean, 9 out of 10 times, it's going to work in Windows 8. And, you know, now there are a few reasons why someone would not want to get Windows 8. And there are, you know, quite a few people that don't want to switch. And that's okay. That just, you know, it matters on, you know, what you need and what you want. Personally, I like Windows 8. I'm going to switch to it. And um, what, one reason that you would uh, not want to switch to this is if you're simply just happy with the version of Windows that you currently have. Another reason why you would not want to get it is if you do not want to learn the new interface. As you can see... This is, uh, this is very different. Unlike, you know, any other Windows operating system, you have to learn a lot of things. And a lot of people just don't want to learn that. Another reason why you would, um, not want to get this is just because you don't like change. There's a lot of people out there that, you know, like the classic Windows. And just because they've changed it around a lot, they don't want to switch to this. Another reason is um, people just don't like the live tiles. They don't like this tile interface, um, which, I mean, could be understandable, I guess. I like it, but, I mean, 
This is one of those things where it's really just your opinion. And, you know, another new thing that has, has come out in the market now is um, these touchscreen laptops. And a lot of people don't like the fact that there's a touchscreen on their laptop and um, they don't want to switch to Windows 8 or even buy a new computer because it has a touchscreen. That's, you know, very few people, but there are people that just don't want a touchscreen on their laptop. Although they don't have to use it, they just refuse to buy one. Probably the number one complaint I've ever gotten for Windows 8 is a lot of people don't like the Windows Phone experience on their personal computer. They think that it should stay there and it shouldn't be on their PC. And that's uh, very understandable. I mean, you don't have to use it. You could just use the desktop all the time. But, I mean, people just don't like the fact that they're, sometimes they are forced to use this, you know, for, you know, let's say, turning your computer on and off. Because you are forced to use this interface, um, you know, every once in a while. That's basically about it. Don't forget to go to LegendaryReviews.com for game reviews, downloads, and much, much more.